Let me start with a question I think that a lot of people are asking, and that is the prospects for another wave of this COVID-19, whether it be BA2 or some other subvariant, given the level, level of immunity that we believe we have in the country today. Well, that is difficult to very accurately predict, uh, David, for the following reason. You're absolutely correct that when you combine the immunity that many people have following infection with the immunity that people who've been vaccinated and hopefully boosted have, there's a significant amount of background immunity. However, we know that the Omicron BA2 is, Omicron itself is a highly transmissible virus. The BA2 has a transmission advantage over BA1. Now, if you look at what happens in other countries that we usually follow their patent, take the UK for an example, they have BA2, and what they've done is two other things. They have this virus that we have in our country, about 75% now of our isolates are BA2. They've had a pullback on many of the mask mandates and restrictions that they've had for indoor settings, as well as a waning of immunity. Those conditions are also present in the United States. So I would not be surprised if we see an uptick in cases, whether that uptick becomes a surge where there are a lot more cases is difficult to predict. But the one thing that I hope and I believe there's reason that this will not happen is that we won't get a very large increase proportionately in hospitalizations because of the background immunity. But I think we should expect, David, that over the next couple of weeks, we are going to see an uptick in cases. And hopefully, there's enough background immunity so that we don't wind up with a lot of hospitalizations. The best way to avoid that is, as we always said in our previous discussions, David, is to get more people vaccinated. And if you're vaccinated, then wind up making sure you get boosted when your time comes up.